Greetings, YouTube. The doctor is in. Dr. Urius Papers here coming at you with another commentary on Marvel Contest of Champions. And we are going to showcase our newest rank three seven star, and that is Colossus. I just ranked him up. I'm going to talk a little bit about how to use him. He is at a uh, signature level 103. I will be attempting to get him to 200 as soon as I can. We are playing with him on crit rating because it's very important to get criticals with him, as you will see. All right, so great things about Colossus. Here he is. He is immune to bleeds, incinerates, cold snaps, and frostbite. So altogether, very great. Additionally, if he's not fighting a tech, he's also immune to armor break and armor shatter debuff. So he's great against some of those cosmics that do cause armor break and armor shatter like Medusa or Terax. And then at the start of the fight, Colossus gains a number of indefinite armor up buffs equal to two, plus the number of X-Men champions on his team, including himself. So he, so at a minimum, he'll start with three if you don't have any X-Men on your team. Um, unless otherwise stated, Colossus armor ups provide 288 armor rating. Additionally, for each armor up buff, Colossus has... He gains an additional 80 to his crit damage rating. So that's the damage, not the chance to crit, but the damage it does. So it does a massive amount when he's got a lot of crits. So if Colossus's ability accuracy is, is below 100, he gains 100% combat power rate for the duration of the attack. So um, that that's good against some tech champions. Uh, damage is capped at 150% of the opponent's attack rating. So they can't do more on crit damage. And then each time this damage cap is hit, the duration of Colossus's armor up buffs is refreshed. Additionally, he has a 50% chance to gain an additional armor up lasting 150%. So if they hit him and crit him and they go to 200% attack rating on their crit, it's capped at 150% and he gets... Uh, he gets a 50% chance to gain an armor up buff. And all of his other armor ups are refreshed. So uh, when he well time blocks, he gains an armor up that lasts 15 seconds. If contact is made by basic attacks, Colossus has a 100% chance to inflict a stun lasting one second. But I've got parry. So uh, the next one is if you have the parry mastery, the stun is disabled. And instead, a successful parry also does about 3,000 points of damage. And you'll see that. Um, attack rating is increased by up to 11,906 based off of Colossus's armor rating. That's massive. Heavy attacks, if the opponent has a stun debuff, so if I parry them, then heavy attacks have a 100% chance to pure the stun and grant a passive fury increasing uh, attack by 20,000 based on 20,800 based on Colossus's armor up for three seconds. So you're going to... Um, you're going to parry them, which is going to stun them, and then you're going to go and use your heavy attack to get that fury. And then, so special attack one, you get one armor up buff, and it's a flat 5% chance per armor up buff to inflict the stun for, for two seconds. This is a quick way to get armor ups. It's not the best way. Special attack two is uh, unblockable. And then when activated for each armor up buff, Colossus has a 50% chance to gain another lasting 15 seconds. These buffs do not count towards the max stack limit, allowing Colossus to temporarily go above his armor up, which I believe is 20. So you can get, I have gotten 30. It's not going to, with this one, it's not going to matter. Uh, the best way to use this special attack is to parry them, go into a heavy, cancel the heavy, and go right to a special attack too, so you have that fury. And finally, special attack three 100% chance to inflict a passive fatigue, uh, reducing crit rating by 2,600. And then Colossus activates organic steel, increasing the amount of damage reduced by armor and resistance by 2% per armor up buff. Additionally, while organic steel is active, Colossus is unstoppable while blocking, allowing him to shrug off attacks. Okay. And finally, the big one, and he needs to be awakened and he needs to be as high sig as possible. So... Whenever one of Colossus's immunity protects him against an effect, he has a, right now, it's a 44% chance to gain an armor up. So if I get bled, I have a 43% chance to get an armor up. If I get incinerated, 43% chance to get an armor up. The, the next bullet is the most important one. 
Colossus has a roughly 37% chance right now to convert an expiring armor up into a permanent one. So the big one is when you do the special two and you convert, you activate uh, armor ups from this particular special attack and then the sig ability kicks in and makes them permanent. All right, let's get in. Let's build our team here because I have a very specific team that I'm going to build and we're going to go in to Realm of Legends and fight our favorite punching bag. And this is not the team we're going to use. Our favorite punching bag is Winter Soldier. Okay, so we want Colossus. And in addition to Colossus, we want Juggernaut. So start the fight with three... Uh, um, no, it's Armor Up buffs also grant plus 1% attack rating. So that's a good one. We want Omega Red. So Omega Red has a synergy with Colossus, but Colossus does not have a synergy with him. But here it is. Plus 2% attack rating for each armor up buff and well-timed blocks grant an armor up buff. So instead of granting one, he's going to grant two, which is awesome. Then we want a Professor X. Where is my Professor X? I always misplace. There he is. I have a Professor X and Professor X up 25% special attack damage for each cerebral charge. He starts with one. And then start each fight with an indefinite armor up buff granting 50%. So he should start with, well, he's going to start with a bunch. Because I've got, uh, I'm going to have two, at least, I think, I can't remember if she is or not. But we're going to bring in Emma Frost because plus 2% increased power gain for each armor up. We want that power gain. Okay, we're going to save this team. And he's going to start, I think he starts with six or eight. Okay, and there's Colossus. He's a 44. This is unboosted. And we want to parry as much as possible. And we want to heavy as much as possible. So we're at 8. We're at 9. Look at that. Look at that. 31 points of damage. And you can see the damage coming off. Okay, we can, and we just parried that. 34,000 34, on a... Boom, boom. Now we want to... And we got hit. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Boom. Gone. That was almost 200,000 points of damage. And we're still at 99% health, even though we got hit. All right. Let's go against... Classic Captain Marvel here. And we're going to start with eight. And that parry didn't happen. That did. Okay, here we were at nine. That was 31,000. We parried that. We're at 11. Wow, look at that. 100,000. Boom. Boom. 115, 115. Look at that. And just took her out. And how fast was that? 22 seconds. 22 seconds. <clears throat> so, all in all, Colossus is massive. He is the real deal. He's got tons of utility. He's got a lot of damage. And this team is not a bad team to be playing with either. This is actually a pretty good team. Um, uh, you know, I might, especially with Colossus, Omega Red, and... Juggernaut, they're all rank three seven stars. I might bring all of them in just on their own. The power gain is okay, and he doesn't necessarily need uh, Professor X. But Professor X does give a boost to damage on his specials and gives him an extra couple uh, armor ups. All right, that is what I got for everybody. I appreciate everybody tuning in, and I will catch everybody.